to that. And turning now to another part of the country where public health officials are sounding the alarm. Dr. Alex Garza is the chief community health officer for SSM Health. That's a regional hospital system based out of St. Louis. He's also the head of the St. Louis Metropolitan Pandemic Task Force. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Um, just if you would, give us a sense of, of, of what you are seeing right now. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me, Steve. So it's uh, certainly, I think the word that we would say is it's very challenging right now. So you see those stories coming out of El Paso and Utah, and those are um, really heartbreaking stories. Here in St. Louis, um, we're seeing similar trend lines. We're not quite at uh, where they are in Utah or El in El Paso, but we don't want to be where they are. So we're seeing an increasing number of admissions uh, to our facilities um, in numbers that we haven't seen since early on in the pandemic when, when we had that first wave. Uh, but in addition to that, we have pretty high volume right now of all of our non-COVID patients too. And so, uh, so you have this scenario where the hospitals were already full and now you're layering in COVID patients on top of that and it's creating a tremendous amount of stress for the healthcare systems here. I'm curious what you're finding with, with the, the new cases that you're seeing. Um, where are the, the where is the transmission happening? Do you have a sense here uh, of where the spikes are coming from? Uh, mostly at the community level. Uh, and so it depends on, you know, if it's it's uh, gatherings that are occurring, if it's people that aren't. Uh, uh, adhering to public health measures such as mask wearing. When we look at um, around the St. Louis metropolitan area where the admissions are coming from, during the initial wave, it was mostly in the urban parts, so St. Louis City, St. Louis County, places like that. Uh, now what we saw was a shift where most of the admissions were coming from our more outlying areas, so um, the more rural areas, which is primarily where all the cases have been growing in Missouri. Um, but the, the, the thing now is, in addition to those cases, now we are starting to see that increase in the urban cases as well. And so it, it's really um, putting a tremendous uh, amount of stress on the healthcare system when we're seeing cases and admissions coming from uh, throughout the area, really from throughout the state now. You say it's putting stress on the healthcare system. How much more stress can it handle before you start getting into the kind of situation we were just hearing about? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Uh, you know, right now we're operating at really either near capacity or at capacity. I know some of our hospitals are actually over capacity. And so as part of the pandemic task force, uh, the healthcare systems here have been having those discussions, much like uh, we're being mentioned in some of your other stories where we're talking about how do we now, you know, decrease our elective cases? What other steps do we need to do in order to create capacity? But I, but I do want to stress one thing, and that is it doesn't matter how many beds we have. If we don't have the staff to take care of patients, it doesn't matter if I have 100 beds or 10 beds if I only have staff to, to take care of 10 patients. And that is really what we're finding is a really challenging part right now. Uh, the workforce is just, uh, they're overworked, they're demoralized. Um, uh, it, it's tough right now for all of them, and not just for healthcare, but I would say for the public health workers as well. They're they're being berated and and just being treated totally unfairly, and it's and it's tough for people to carry on in this sort of environment. Mm. Dr. Alex Garza, SSM Health in St. Louis. Thank you for taking a few minutes. Really appreciate that, and good luck Anytime. to you. Up Thank next, you. we are going to check back in. On